1,000 years later. Ah, kita-kits na lang po yung huli na ganyan sa akin, nagpahinga. Yeah. Huwag kang mag-alala dahil sa season 12, dudurugin ulit kita. Ouch! We brought through these amazing graphics. Thank you, production team, once again. But here it is, the PH, PH Grand Finals. We have Echo on one side, RSG on the other, as we bring you into the Land of Dawn for the first game in this best of five series. Let's get it. Lord Mortal Coil to be able to get popped in, but Sanji is the one who steals it despite two retribution as Brazier's Wrath coming down. Nats gets saved by a Nether Realm, and now is able to dash away. What? Demonic Force, though. Nats gets the shielding. Sanford gets baited in. Light now. Divine Judgment. Pull him back. Flicker all the way. Sanford still able to escape right now. As that's a Shadow Stampede to bring JP. What in comes back? Final Ooh. Slash not connecting even with the Flicker. And Monster able to get the Purify out. But Benny Cutie follows. Able to Blazing Duet under the turret. Now it's Light who's gonna be targeted down. Aqua coming back in, that's a pullback onto Benny. The turret targeting, Divine Judgment as well by Light to lock Sanji down, but a good flip. Sanford pops into the Monarch Force once again. Kaltinezi and Demon Kite, it's gonna be Demon Kite who wins the Retry battle. Now it's an all-in with a Blazing Duet as well. Now the Realm HP getting getting rid of instantly as Light flickers out. Demon Kite now with a Mortal Coil defensively. Crossball tank Whoa. is ready. Nats wants to go in, Sanji is down with an all-in. It's another crossball attack for the team fight. Onto JP now, and out to Kaltinezi, who's forced to run away, but with the weakness finder it slows you down for oh, it's easy. not having a good game right now but fine judgment locks jp down that's a crossbow tang as well by your mom but it's gonna be tanked up in the nether realm demon kai wins out the retry battle now with snaps nice. in the back line jp gonna be taken low but the taunt there saves him for a bit aqua follows it up and finds another sanford in the back gets another it's a one for one trade in the team fight so far as called easy gets a massive appraiser's trap but demon kite's back in with a mortal coil, chasing Benny down. Sanford rotating over. That's Demon Kite, way too overextended and punished. I think he's activated. He's smashing right now. Knockout strike, oh Benny's running away. The final slice doesn't connect onto Nats. Forces a whole lot of resources from inside of Echo. And JP is gonna be the one caught Demon Kite. You dash the resource battle, Sanford though. Demonic Force now into the mid lane. Nats and Iman need to be very safe. The Demonic Force continues over to Iman and now there's another round from Aqua Force out. Crossbow Tang now used up already. That's a flicker defensively by Sanji as they look for the Lord. Demon Kite versus Carl TZ. Sanford low and a Decimate too. Decimate from Demon Kite. The Mortal Coil as well. It's not just two Demon Kites. It's three. Oh. It's four. It's a Maniac for DK. Fix it. Go for place now too. All right, JP walking forward, Divine Judgment instantly lock him down, and that's him taken out! Not even a crossbow, a tang by Iman, he holds it in. Sanji stole the Nether Realm, but now it's also used up. Kaltizi is inside of that Lord Pit right now. Iman going forward, baiting out a few of these demonic forces from Sanford. As Kaltizi goes at it with Demon Kite right now, it's a 1v1 retry battle, and it's the GOAT! Kaltizi who finds the Lord, but Iman gets a solo kill. Now, it's an all-in to the bottom side, a knockout strike to bring Sanji all the way to the Testament. That's him taken down, now it's Carl against the world! And the world win. The Nether Realm, they want more. Good reaction by Benny Cutie right there. Now the whole team made it out. The Ooh. final slice from JP. That's a big one with a flicker comboed in. Now it's another round. The Demonic Force falling through all the way to the back line. Iman giving him a lot of resources to just continue to pop this Demonic Force. Echo on the chase. Iman finally getting out of that range. For now, it's light. Divine Judgment locking Carl Tizi down. Iman with a rotation. The final slash with the Appraiser's Wrath was dodged away from because of the final slash. Now it's a Demonic Force onto the Demon himself. Demon Kite and onto Light and Iman. Demon Kite getting out the vengeance, not able to get fully reset it there. But look at the crossbow tanks. Sanford might just be outplayed here. That's what Blazing do it from Benny Cutie onto the back, and he finds the big play to shut Iman down. Now it's like concealed in, flickering forward, Benny! With the immortality. And now it's Sanji, super low, taken out, knocked out by Nats. The way, at this stage, for Echo. Light, conceal, JP with a good cancel, the final slash, displacing light right now, that's gonna be the taunt as well. Chain CC onto light, no divine judgment used up just yet, but now JP is still in the midst, and Mon gets all the weakest points right now, but it's not gonna be able to pop it in just yet, as Sanford jumps in and zones him away. The demonic force follows through all the way, and Mon brought back under the tier two. Aqua comes in with the save of the nether realm. Now it's Sanford again in the midst of it all, with another realm as well, but it's out of Sanji, and a winner truncheon as well. But Sanford should fall here with another HP wow. damage coming in, but the divine judgment from light catches a Benny Cutie with a blazing duet. Sanji locked down and now taken out by Iman. RSGPH. They win a fight purely through micro. Oh my goodness. Iman, I, I've seen that before. It was a marquee S play back in season, what, 10?
They countered the Fulvius. And RSG. Oh my god, they're gonna end it. They went for the juggler. And a divine judgment to end it all. The final slash will truly be the final one of the game. As Echo will fall in game number one. Reset of the neutral objective. Meanwhile, below. What's going on here? Minidurio! It's a combo in with the Requiem, but it's still gonna be Sanford who gets the kill with Sanji as well and the turtle. Yeah, uh, team fight of Echo. JP wants to go in. That's a good knockup onto DK. Carl TZ with a bit of a follow up, but the spatial migration connects onto him. And he breaks his trap used instantly. And Ultimate Fury, quicker combo. The hard guard used in, but he still is going to be bursted down. JP. Little bird, man. I don't know about him. Spatial yeah. migration coming down with a Requiem as well. JP can be locked up with a Petrify there. Not used up just yet. Sanford looks for the right time, but it's only just one. JP taken down. These, these team fights, these Ooh. mind games. You must be super used to but like goes in. Requiem and a spatial migration called TZ is actually taking the turret aggro. Is he able to do with that kill, right? Sure, he's able Whoa. to get a pick off to Carl TZ. Whoa. Oh, Benny Cutie. Very aggressive maneuver Whoa. right now. Is he going to be knocked up by a spatial migration? What is speed? Benny Cutie still able to survive with the minion's fury coming down. Benny Cutie, looking for all the weakness points. My god, gets out. Marksman, right? But Benny Cutie. What? He's so low. But he's still alive, and Light is not able to find that kill. But Echo aren't able to find any kills either unless Sanford rotates. That's a taunt. Now Light. Oh! Still able to dash away. Carl TZ. The right amount of heart guard. And the Claude, of course. A win condition kind of hero. Oh, Nats though. Given enough space. Crossbow attack used up now with Minion Fury. Nats able to dodge away from oh, that one. Goes in for a re with the help of the heart guard. Light and Demon Kite going for the back line. Demon oh. Kite with the shield unit. He's now only locking JP down. But he's able to flick around now. Sanji maneuvering on. Getting a terrifying on the three members. Nats still able to survive for a bit. But Sanford comes in as a three man Petri. And Demon Kite and Light should be falling down to the Appraiser's Wrath. And another Sanford picks Sometimes. up the triple and gets out with one HP. He's gonna suffer. Oh, Nats gets brought back all the way by a final slash from Sanji, but now it's called TZ, who got, gets the same treatment all the way inside of the base now, getting the healing as well, getting a good time, but the Benny goes in as well for a lot of damage. That's him in his fury, knocking up Demon Kite Benny? and Benny Cutie on the crossbow. Tang will finish off Nats, and now it's another light in the base. The base is wide open, opened up by the likes of Echo. There's a facial migration connecting on the three right now. That's a triple kill for Benny. In game number one, we saw a triple kill and a maniac from RSG. This game, we'll just see a triple, but it's Echo getting back. It's that clear speed, right? Sanji already rotating towards his bottom side. Yeah, that dive actually brought Nats into the turret, but now it's an outplay with a petrified Ooh. Sanford. Or sees that regen right now, able to use that final blow to get out. Meanwhile, Count Easy wins out the red tree battle in that turtle pit, but now gets caught in the decimation of Demon Kite. Looking for more under the turret. JP gonna fall as well to Demon Kite on the Mardis. Despite the first two kills, not in the way he plays the game though, just in the build quality. Call TZ now with the Requiem able to knock up Demon Kite, and that's gonna be another knockup for the guiding win as Benny Cutie comes down to spray him down with an Immunus Passion. Sanford to petrify onto Aqua, no more damage coming through. Nats rotating as well from the bottom side. Call TZ gets a massive spatial migration. Don't really want to go for anything too oh, crazy. Florida, no Meanwhile, damage. as I say it, Nats, Curious Dive gets the knockup and gets out. Beautifully done by Nats. Despite a heavy initiation, now it's another Black Dragon form. Nats is back to half, maybe even a quarter right now. Is Nats going to be able to find a Petrify and the Furious Dive? Not able to connect on that Furious Dive, but the passive burns Carl TZ down. Meanwhile, Sanford doing the same thing into the back line. Light able to flick it around right now. It's eye for an eye. Catches two. He's looking for one more slash and he finds it now. It should be him falling unless he's able to make a miracle play. Dashing into the base. Aqua should follow through very fast. That's the guy he Oh my way. goodness, and a decimate though from Demon Kite denies the escape. We have a level ahead of Demon Kite. That's two main CC onto Iman, knocked up for eternity. Meanwhile, now Demon Kite has to use that mortal coil just in time. Does get the timing down, but the damage will still come through. Demon Fashion, oh my goodness. No. Demon Kite with one HP. On RCPH. That's a black dragon form from Nats. Trying to find an opening in this team fight. Meanwhile, Sanford up top, going to the clear, going for the cut, and maybe possibly a split push. JP gonna be caught in that oh, the furious petrified. dive and the petrified. Nas on point, Woo! sets off perfectly for Demon Kite to look for it, but now the facial migration connects onto the back, still able to survive. But Nats again with the help of Aqua, just takes him down. Now it's Sanji running away, but Nats is able to pop in that black shoes, helping Sanji get out. But now it's gonna be Sanford with the help of any Demon Kite, diving back to the turret, not Woo! able. 
to really go for anything else here, though. It's going to be Sanford, unless one mortal coil gets out. Aqua is there, but Sanford is bigger. It's Echo with another big win in this trade, just with Sanford. No, Aqua takes him down. Go on to light, just to try to open up some of the space. Meanwhile, Benny, the Gorilla Warfare Strat. Now Call Tizi jumps in the midst of it all, jumps in and gets out, but not for long. Nats burns him down with that passive and even zones Benny away. Now it's Sanford who jumps into the back, but Demon Kite is still as on point as ever. Finds another. Now it's Sanji caught in the midst of it all. It's a triple for a mod on the Bruno. Again, it's the Yuzhong and Commitment's Benny. coming up from RCPH. Benny Kitty wants to no salvage way. his team, but he gets stunned up. Flicker out. Can he outplay this? I don't think. Does th Demon Kite want to go for the chase around the, around the light of dawn? Benny Cutie, can yeah. he make his way out? He I goes think, in for the item. I think he's item. just stopping the recall. I think he can win this as well. I mean, yeah, I we'll think he's just see. stopping the recall because they were going for the end. The base is wide open and with everything down there, they should be able to end and take game two. Super aggressive. Early stages. This RCPH, they're so dependent Ooh. on light and they finance. Where's Demon Kite? Cool. He's level five. Ooh, Nats jumps in very deep, actually out of the real world of Blation, onto Carl Teasy. Sanford forced to use the Raging Storm defensively, and now Carl Teasy is going to be ran down by the likes of RSG. Under the turret, Nats picks up a big knockout with a jab. A Flicker Divine Judgment brings Sanford back. It's three kills over. A little bit of a trade in lane already. Wow, a full initiation with a Flicker as well, but RSG react to it. My goodness! It's a re-engage from RSG, a masterfully played team fight. Then it is a good thing for Echo. Bring to backfire, but meanwhile, yes. the top side. Blazing the wet, the divine judgment to oh drag no. Benny back to Iman's Game. range. Game. Ladies and gentlemen. And it's so peculiar, it's called Teasy goes in. That's a bubble. Storm. Coming out on Demon Kite, now with a mortal coil turning it around once again. The CC is there in the decimate as well. As Nats is the one who knocks him out in the end. Cop today better than Echo. And the momentum that you, they brought from game now for series number one. Light is going to be poked down there, but Demon Kite now goes in. And that's going to be Aqua again with a real orbit in place. And a lot steps out for the rest of the team to collapse. It's Nats in the back aiming for Benny, and he gets the damage done. It's Demon Kite with a double. Now one more. It's a triple from Demon Kite. Oh my god! <laughs> and they're coming back with a vengeance. Call Teasy though. Rachel Migration with now the help of the Raging Sandstorm. It's gonna be Iman! With a blazing duet, my goodness! Shreds them down, Sandstorm oh, jumping in, but Iman with another outplay, and it's Demon Guide who capitalizes. Readjust. Let's see. Destroyed. This might be the final push of the game. That's now right there. Baiting out Sanford Knight, Light getting his Divine Judgment and locking him down. Nats diving deep, now gets shut down with bases wide open and resurgence! The resurgence has happened for the Philippines and mainly for RSGPH! The champions of MPLI 2023! They were once the conquerors of Southeast Asia. And here at MPLI, they topped the ranks in their group stage. Knocked down by AP Bren into the lower bracket where they silenced the dreams of our two dark horses. See you soon from Cambodia and homeboys from Malaysia. Like a team reborn, RSG, resurgence, have risen from the ashes of their former glory and are now, ladies and gentlemen, your MPLI 2023 20, champions.